Hi, my name is Gordon Kahn. I'm the owner of the Guitar Gym. Um, the Guitar Gym's main business for the last six or seven years has been selling refurbished guitars on eBay and lately on Reverb. Uh, on eBay, you might have, might have purchased a guitar from me. Uh, username is Sir Shredalot Guitar. My store is Sir Shredalot's Guitar Emporium. Uh, I have a feedback of, I'm sorry, I have a rating of 2593 and 100% positive feedback. Over the last six or seven years, I've probably sold 3,500 to 4,000 refurbished guitars. And all these guitars have come from MIRC, MIRC in Nashville, which is the nation's largest, I guess probably the world's largest refurbisher of electric and acoustic guitars. Um, the way you can tell if you have a guitar that's come from MIRC, there's two signs. One, you'll see the used stamp. They'll stamp the guitar with that so that um, stores, retailers know that this guitar has been refurbished and that the warranty is void on it. The other telltale sign is this gold sticker that Merck uses to cover up the serial number, which they also partially route out and that's a sign that it's gone through their system. Uh, my personal with history with MRC for the most part was very good until recently. Um, I have been one of their top 20 dealers um, and I had always thought until recently that they sold a very high quality product and that they were a very trustworthy company. Um, Towards the beginning of 2015, my salesman of the past six years uh, moved on to another career. And while I liked my new salesman, the problem was that the vice president of the company, who took over operations from the owner, uh, really was micromanaging my account and changing up uh, the way that I had always done business with MIRC. Now, the main problem he had with me was that I was returning too many guitars to MIRC. Um, I return car guitars that don't meet my standards. And while MIRC standards are high, uh, my standards are higher, which means I'm not going to sell you a guitar unless I think there's nothing wrong with it. MIRC guarantees all their work for 90 days. Um, and for whatever reason, even though I found problems with that, they were saying I was returning too many guitars. Um, problems were things such as a tight nut coming in, um, electronics not working properly, noisy electronics, improper string spacing so that strings were falling off the neck, etc. Uh, eventually it got to the point um, where I could no longer do business with them. Uh, it was too much, too hostile of an environment. What I want to share with you today is not my story of how I'm discouraged with not being able to be a dealer with MRC anymore, but give you what I think is a true impression and idea of what you are going to be getting when you purchase a refurbished guitar that most likely has come from MRC. Uh, most likely, you're going to get a good deal. They're a high quality instrument um, and their repairmen are excellent. The problem is there's a slight chance that you're going to get a lemon and while that didn't used to be an issue I think it is now and if you're not particularly sharp and understand how a guitar is supposed to be put together and what the problems can be you might get stuck with a bad product um, especially say you're someone that's buying a present for someone else you don't know guitars that well you want to save a couple hundred bucks over retail price for a new one you get one and then it turns out well you gave your whoever your niece your son a guitar with problems um, what I want to show you is an example of a deeply flawed guitar that MRC refused to take back from me and in fact even refused to communicate with me about uh, this is an EVH Wolfgang standard uh, this is a high-end electric uh, this is the made in Japan one I believe these retail for about $1,500 with the case. Uh, currently they're retailing for $1,000, but they're made in Mexico and that's the price without the case. You can see here, it's a little faint, but there's the U stamp 
Uh, this one doesn't have the serial number sticker on it. I may have taken it off. I'm not sure where it went. But this guitar has a serious flaw. The reason this guitar was rejected by EVH, I'm sure, is that the post for the Floyd Rose were not drilled properly. So the entire bridge is off center. This is pretty obvious when you look at it. Um, you come in here. If you look at where those dots are lining up, that dot marker should be centered between the two strings. You can see that it's clearly very far off the mark. You can see the treble string is all the way on the edge of the neck and it's very hard to keep this on the neck when you're playing. And you can also see that the bass side is really far in. The neck, the nut is installed properly so you can see that this has the proper string spacing. This is way off. Now what MRC should have done and I'm pretty sure what they would have done in the past is they should have pulled those posts, pulled the ferrules, filled the holes, redrilled it, installed the bridge properly centered. Well they would have repainted it and then done that. Their guys, their repairmen are top of the line. They can easily do this and you would not even have been able to see the repair. I'm not knocking the people that work at MRC. Those repairmen are as good as they get. The painting is as good as they get. The problem is, is they're pushing stuff through and not doing repairs to save money. And they're putting it on us, the dealer, and ultimately on you, the consumer, because they're hoping that it's going to just slip on through. So you're, if you bought this guitar, you're going to be spending, you know, maybe a thousand bucks for a guitar that's supposed to be a high-end shredder with deep flaws. Um, I had several other Jackson guitars that, while I didn't notice, this is a, something, a problem I noticed recently. The problem was uh, I had always would get MRC guitars and I would look for what was it that they repaired, what is the flaw. This guitar is a different problem. This is what wasn't repaired and until recently I hadn't noticed that. Back to the Jacksons, I had several Jacksons that were coming in with this same problem with the string spacing. I'm pretty sure now it was an improper bridge installation. So the idea that most people selling refurbs to you is that there's no difference between these and new ones except for they don't have a warranty. Sometimes that's the case. Sometimes you're just getting an overstock item and you're getting a great clearance price on it. Sometimes it was something that maybe got a nasty ding from shipping, but like I said, the repair guys are amazing. They can fill that, sand it, paint it, you're not even going to see it. Sometimes there are heel cracks that have been repaired. Sometimes you can see a little residue of that. A lot of times those guys are so good that repairs are invisible. But guitars like this with deep structural problems, they seem to be pushing through now um, in the obviously in the interest of just making a certain profit number as opposed to maintaining a certain quality level and ultimately myself who was one of the top dealers they had for years got pushed out the door because I wasn't a lot willing to play along with that um, so you can take this as you will you can take it as I'm a bitter guy who no longer works there and I'm trying to get back or you can take it as hey this is a guitar or their products or guitars are probably going to be good but be careful there are definitely some lemons out there and it does not seem to be their priority anymore to make quality the number one priority of the business so I hope this helps good luck with your purchase